Hi all! We are going to have a walkthrough of the Corpse Hall property by DI here in G2 Hassan, Sampaloc, Manila. So this is the hallway going towards the rooms. This is just the model unit and this is not the actual um, unit. So it's Christmas, it's still Christmas here. So slowly let's walk towards the room. So this is a typical, typical 15 square meter unit. This is a fully furnished unit. You can see the aircon there. There is also a fan. And then there's your floor. So this unit is fully furnished and whatever you see except the accessories shall be part of uh, whatever you buy of any of any unit that you buy. But this one is a 15 square meters unit. So this is the floor. When you look at your left, you have a small ref there. And then a microwave. And then up there is a television. Let's look at the bathroom. So you have a shower here. There. There's a shower head. And then there are three areas where the tenants could put their stuff. And then at the next part is the toilet area. You see it's separate. It's separated by a wall so that when it is when someone when one of the tenants would need to use the bathroom and then use the shower, they can do it at the same time. Because the idea really is for students to stay here. Um, so especially in the morning when they are rushing they would need to take a bath, somebody would take, need to take a bath and somebody would need to take to use the toilet. So there's a bedroom there. The concept is dormitel. It's a dormitory hotel. So there's the bed and then you have the stairs going down. And then when you go down, you have the work area here for students. So this one is a sample of a work area for a guy so he can put his stuff here he can do the laptop there there is an outlet for his computer there's the chair and there is a space where he can put his bag let's see here there's a cabinet here And um, another here. And this is the best part, you know, for students who, uh, where do they put their clothes? Here. They will put their clothes right here. There. So you can put, hang your clothes there. So this is for a guy. So there's the aircon. And then there's another one. So this room, 15 square meters. This is good for three students. So up there, on the bed, there is a provision, there is an um, electric socket. It's, uh, for example, if you're going to charge your phone, if you're going to bed, or if you want to put a lamp there, if you want to read before going to bed, it's very convenient. Okay, so this is the other one. And then let's go back here. I'm walking towards the entrance. So this one is a uh, model for, for example, a girl dormer. So you can see the bed there. Lots of butterflies there. Designed for a girl. And then the, well, the student can put her books there, pictures. And then, of course, there's the socket for gadgets and everything. What I really like about this concept is that you can use the closet as, uh, yeah, put the mirror there so you can check how you look. And for girls, this is what they would really love. Right? You can hang your clothes there and at the same time you have this provision for shoes. You can hang there. So it's very, the, the concept is really refreshing. It's, well, it's very much suitable for students and uh, the doors are 
The doors are just like in the hotels. They have this electronic key access that's going to be always only be available for those who stay in the unit. So there you have it. Uh, this is the 15 square meters unit offered by Forbes Hall DEI Properties. If you have, uh, if you would like to see the units for yourself, or if you want to check out uh, the prices and availability. Just contact us and send us an email at cheryl.solyestre at gmail.com. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye. So here it is, the model units of Forbes Hall. This is located at G. Tuason Street, near Bustillos and Legarda Streets of Manila. So here's the street. Here's the model unit. This is the lot where the Forbes Hall is to rise. And um, uh, right inside is the parking space right there. So here's my team. Please do check it out soon. Thank you.